In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do five effects seen in Marley's videos. Enjoy! I've started off by importing a clip into Premiere Pro and adding a couple of subtitles, which I will be applying the effect to. Yes! Yes! I'll be adding the stretch effect to the second yes and I'll be starting off by simply unchecking the box next to Uniform Scale. Next, you want to drag your playhead to the start and set a keyframe for scale width. Then, move the playhead forward and set another keyframe by increasing the scale width value. Drag this second keyframe to the end, and the effect is almost complete. To finish off, right-click the first keyframe and select Ease Out. Then, right-click the second keyframe and select Ease In. The final result should look like this. Yes! Yes! For this clip I will be adding a blood splatter green screen when I get the kill. I'll leave a link to the video I use but there's thousands of different green screen effects out there. Once you've added a green screen video into your timeline, you want to go to the effects window and search for ultra key and drag it over. Then, go to Effect Controls and find Key Colour. Select the colour picker and click on the green area, which will make the green screen disappear. Next, it's simply a case of lining up the effect with the moment you get the kill, and repositioning it as well. For this clip I'm going to be using some energy pulses that I bought, but there's loads of free ones on YouTube, and I'll link some in the description. So now that I've imported the energy pulse into Premiere Pro, the first thing I'm going to do is remove the black area around the effect, which I can do by going to effect controls and changing the blend mode from normal to screen, which looks like this. This looks good, but I think it would look even better with some colour. So you want to go to the effects window and search for tint. Drag this onto your energy pulse and change map white to any colour you want. For this example I'll use green. To make the effect more visible you want to go to the colour workspace. And in basic correction under exposure you want to play around with the sliders until you find a result that you're happy with. After going back to my main workspace, I noticed the effect was a bit slow, so what I did was right click it in the timeline and find speed slash duration, where I reduce the duration. Then you want to find the point where you get the kill and align the energy pulse effect with your playhead. The finished result should look like this. For the pixelation effect, you want to start by going to effects and searching for mosaic. Drag that onto your clip and it will look like this. Drag your playhead to the start and increase the horizontal and vertical blocks value to something really high. Set two keyframes at the start and then move your playhead forward. Press this icon to make two more keyframes of the same value, then move the playhead further forward. Then decrease the value of horizontal and vertical blocks. I decrease mine to 40 but you can decrease it to whatever you want. Then move even further forward and increase the values back up again. Afterwards, you want to easy use the keyframes. After rewatching the effect, I noticed it wasn't aligned properly to the kill, so 
so I simply move the third set of keyframes forward. One way you can add to this effect is by making cuts when the pixelation is the most noticeable. And then search for low pass and drag it onto the audio below the clip at the part you cut out. To finish off, go to Audio Transitions and find Constant Power, and drag it onto either side of your audio, leaving the final result to look like this. One friendly operator remaining. <laughs> For the final effect, you want to make two cuts between where you want the black and white to start and end. Then, search for black and white and find the effect under image control. Drag it onto your clip and it should look like this. Another way you can do the black and white effect is by switching over to the colour tab. Here you can reduce the saturation to zero, then also alter some of the other sliders to give you a different look. One friendly operator remaining. One operator remaining. <laughs> On your left. This. One friendly operator remaining. One <laughs> four remaining. <laughs> 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 Guy on your left. This. One friendly operator remaining. One <laughs> four remaining. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to leave any other effects you want to learn how to do in the comments. I also have another video where you can learn five more Mali effects on screen now. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to...